Saudi Arabia saying it's cutting ties with Iran. Iranian diplomats Iranian now have 48 hours uh, to get out of the country. This follows a firestorm of protests against Saudi Arabia after the Saudis executed 47 people accused of terrorism. And among those executed, a prominent Shiite cleric, Nimr al Nimr. Uh, the Saudi diplomats are already being evacuated from Iran after the embassy was stormed. Senior international correspondent Frederick Plaikin joining me now with more on what you know. Uh, Frederick, mm -hmm. this is a very delicate situation. Well, delicate situation and certainly a very surprising twist in all of this uh, that was going on uh, since late Saturday. Uh, the Saudis today coming out and announcing, as you said, that they're severing all ties, uh, accusing uh, Iran of undermining Saudi Arabia's security. It was the uh, Saudi foreign minister who came out and said that Saudi Arabia, quote, would not allow Iran to undermine uh, Saudi Arabia's security. Of course, they're speaking about that incident uh, that we're seeing on our screens right now where uh, protesters in Iran stormed uh, into the Saudi embassy in Tehran late on Saturday night, at least setting some rooms on fire. Uh, the Saudis say that they had asked the Iranians to protect that embassy. They claim that that did not happen. Uh, the Iranians, for their part today, at least to a certain extent, in somewhat of a damage control mode when the President Hassan Rouhani, while uh, condemning the killing of that Shiite cleric, did, uh, cleric, did come out and say uh, that storming the embassy was wrong, that the Iranians were going to find the perpetrators. Forty people have already been arrested, but clearly uh, that has not been enough to calm down the mood in Saudi Arabia.